everybody. Welcome. This is your career engineer. Don't get anxious. Get prepared today. We're going to give some tips about that summer job search so it can be a boom, not a bust. Uh, make sure you like uh, this, our profile, our platform, whichever you're, you're uh, enjoying this on and make sure you subscribe. We're going to be right back getting right into today's topic. So don't go anywhere. Yes, remember, don't get anxious, get prepared, and make sure you visit us everywhere at tcenow.com. This is part of our TCE TV and TCE University training. If you have a question or comment about what I'm going to say here or any other question that might may come up, send me an email right, right there, actually, info at tcenow.com. So today, we're talking about that summer job search, right? And whether you are a, you know, summer hire type of person, you know, the college student coming out or you're done with graduation or you're ready to have your summer break, the high schooler or that person looking for that part-time summer break job, we've got some tips for you. However, if you are FTE full-time looking for your job and didn't land it before the summer holidays, we got some news for you too. So first, let me talk to my young people. You may have a young person and these days a young person could be considered 21, 22, 23. And my day it was a little different, but I digress. So here's the deal. The summer break, um, when you want a war warning, because I do have young people asking us right now, right at the beginning of the summer season, hey, I'm looking for a summer job. So big mistake. The best time to look for your summer job is actually March, April. That's my college students, my high school students, anyone looking for a really fantastic, you know, paid internship or a summer internship that's really cool. These really good ones with the federal government or your state, local governments or private industry, they start at looking for folks March or April. So, OK, you wait until now. You still can make some progress. Going to be a little bit more work. But in the future, next year, please start early. Don't wait till May and June and July. That's not a summer job. That's a summer break. OK, so but you can still get your hustle in and get it in there. So we're going to give you some tips to do, too, as well. So one thing I always like people to do, I know all of us are online, online. In fact, I remember seeing a comment from a parent that, you know, they're a great kid, smart kid out there, not getting any hires. They're only doing it online. Keyword only doing it online. So I'm going to say, folks, on my online people, and again, my FTEs and my summer hire people, listen, if online ain't working for you, whatever you're doing, okay, how about try some low tech? There's a old school, but it's very effective. We call it meet the person, right? Meet the manager. Now, you do have to know the rules of engagement when you're going to meet the manager. You just don't show up like at lunchtime at a restaurant. Or you just don't show up, you know, like sort of you know, you got, you got to know the rules of engagement and in the industry you want to work for, try to find that slow time or heck, you could even reach out prior to to see if you can talk to someone on the phone to find a time to have a quick 15 minute chat. So you've got to know the rules of engagement. But once you do that, this option is very wise. It's smart. I mean, I say, you know, I'm a big hybrid girl. So do your online, do your offline, but try to put some meet the manager in there. And today with Google and LinkedIn and all these resources, you can find out who the hiring manager is somewhere. And if you don't know, you have a thing called the phone that you can like look things up and call someone. And if you don't know that, you can always show up. Now, this is a great tip for small to medium companies all the time. However, if you know, if your network is working for you, you can find the manager and meet that manager with your access with LinkedIn or have your networking folks refer you or give a favorable, favorable introduction to connect the dots. How do I know this works? Because I do it all the time. I do it all the time. I will connect someone with someone I know that they would never have had access with, but because we have a real relationship. So this approach really can work and it will demonstrate, not just talk, talk stuff, right? It will demonstrate your drive, your initiative, your grit, your moxie, right? That you really want this thing, which is what employers are actually looking for. They want your skills and abilities, but they really know if you got any sticky power, if you really want to be here. So try that. Now, we all, people always hear the myth, nobody hires in the summer. Like if you're going to get your job, you need to land in April or May, or you need to just wait till September and October and the latter parts of the month. So I'm going to tell you, let me bust this myth. I've been saying this myth is a big bust forever, but y'all still don't listen to me. So please listen to me now. It's, of course, people hire in the summer. 
don't you go places? Don't you eat places? Don't you shop places? Don't you go to, to the, you know, you visit a healthcare facility or you go to fun places or you go to business place? Aren't people working there? Hello. So it means that companies still hire, but the market is slowing down. I will say this. It was sizzling. I mean, come on, sizzling. So sure, it's cooling down, but it doesn't mean it's dead. It is very open. And like I said, some companies take a little longer now. They did all that quick, fast, in a hurry doing the global trauma that we had. But they realized money wasn't the solve. People got better money and they still left after 30 days. So there is this kind of term called quiet hiring. They're hiring. It might be taking them a little longer to get to you because they have staffing shortages too in the HR world, right? But they're coming around, but you know, people are, are taking it a little longer because you know it costs a little bit more to do business now. So it's slowing things down. Maybe they needed 10 folks, but now they only need three folks. So stop focusing that they don't need 10. Maybe you're the three and that's what you need to go, go for. But, you know, we've got the lowest unemployment at the time of me talking to you this time, the jobs report came out and we're still, I mean, at the time of, of me talking to you, 3.7%. Um, 339,000 people got hired last month, according to the jobs report, and 10.5 million job openings are still open. There's got to be one for you, but you're going to have to, so be, forget that myth. They do hire in summer, but you need to get your A, A, A game and get up there. Speaking of hiring in the summer, for all my people, numbers do matter. You, this is, I'm all about hope and motivation and inspiration. I'm all about that. Y'all know I am. But that won't work if you don't do any application. It won't work. I mean, I can't motivate you <laughs> all day long if you are not putting in the work to do application and activation. So your numbers matter. And for those of you that are only doing, oh, you see, I've said only a couple of times that O-N-L-Y word. It's a dangerous word in job search. You're doing two a week or 10 a month. And you're like, ain't nobody calling. And you wonder why. Because that's not a job search. It isn't. That's not a job search. I'm not sure what that is. But it's not a job search. It might be a job. I wonder what I think I might want to do it myself. But it's not a job search. So you got to have 30 a month. And that's slow for me. That's really slow. So I say 30 a month because that's one a day. Right? Most, most months have 30 or 31, right? So a job contact a day for a month, 30. But that's better than two and 10. So if you've got 30 out there, and, you know, you, you're giving the market a chance to respond to you. So if you're sitting up here only doing like two a week, that's not a job search. You're wasting your time and your effort. So take it up a notch. I say do 50 in a month or 60, not 30, not two. But, you know, start somewhere. But numbers do matter. If you don't put the num if you don't put the action in there, you're never going to hear anything. The hows matter as well. And how is for every way you engage that E word, engage. So the hows do matter. I mean, when you reach out to someone, how do you do it? How are you emailing? What are you saying on the phone? What is your voice tone? Do you have a little pitch that you've worked on, because you should, that you will say to folks, are you still being a, a genuine and organic and authentic? Are you just copy, paste, copy, paste, copy, paste, and you don't think people know that you are copy, paste, copy, paste, copy, paste, okay? First impressions still matter. I know the world is different and that's okay. I'm all about different. That's cool. You know, I'm a little different. I'm a hat girl. That's the way it is. But it still matters how you put yourself out there. So you gotta know your brand. And you gotta know where you where your brand is going. Like where what type of industries are you looking to get into? Is it fair that people judge the way you look or the way you sound or anything? Is it fair? Of course not. But does it happen all day long? So use it to your advantage. Okay. So in most cases, how you put yourself together, again, depending on where you want to go. Okay, like so for example, you know, if I want to work at a place where hair is blue and hair is green and 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 things of that nature, well, I don't have blue and green hair. They might judge me because of that, but I may not want to work at a place that's hair blue and green hair, because well, I just don't have any blue and green hair. Nothing wrong with blue and green hair. I just don't have it. But let me get to a hat place. Now, now we have a real zen going on. Okay, so that's fine, but still. First impressions still matter, and you only have six seconds online. That is not a lot of time. It used to be eight seconds. We just lost two in the last three years. Go figure. So when you click, it's got to be on point, clean, crisp, ready to rock and not roll. When you show up, it's got to be on point. You need to look good. You need to look the best you can. Wear the best you can. And class and style will always win. If you're in doubt, 
don't wear that thing, right? I mean, come on, you, this is your first impression, so make it count. So the hows do matter. Now, with all that going on, and you still haven't heard any news yet, right? Because you're upping the game. You found out maybe today, ooh, there's some things I can do differently. So let me put that into my mix starting today, not tomorrow, starting today. But while you're waiting to hear the news, there's some things you can do while you're waiting because, you know, once you start working, your life is going to change, right? Your time that you had available to do thus and so is not going to be there. So now's the time to put some high touch in gear, which means check yourself out, you know, check out your closets, declutter, get the house in order. I don't know. Check out your brand. If the resume isn't doing what it needs to do or it needs to be updated because you need to update your resume. In case you missed it, I'm going to repeat it one more time. You need to update your resume. You need to update your brand. You need to update your profiles. Do it once a season, summer, winter, fall. Get it together. So while you're waiting, do these things. Uh, got some gaps or you're still waiting around to hear something. How about volunteering? I mean, volunteering is great. It gives you an opportunity to do some networking, get some experience and have fill in those gaps if you have them. And also it keeps you engaged. And that's important. And companies do love volunteering, right? But find the right place for you to volunteering so you can do what you need to do. It will help you build your skills. Can't say it enough. Job search is a job. And every now and then, you got to get out that boat because you're waiting for the, you know, the, the, the sale. You got to get some oars. <laughs> you got to get rolling. But that's OK. That's a good thing. That's a good thing. So and I believe you can do it. So listen, I want to say don't get anxious. Get prepared. Thank you for joining us this month. I remember, as I said earlier, you can find us everywhere at TCEnow.com. Uh, send me an email at info at TCEnow.com if you have a question or comment about what I've just shared or a future career question, you never know, we might use your topic to um, do a show about, right? So I'll give some information. So remember, don't get anxious, get prepared. I thank you so much for being here and want to make sure that you guys have a blessed and a safe week. So until next time, I will see you later. Thanks for watching our Korean Goodness Show. I hope you learned a lot about today's topic. If you enjoyed the show, please let me know by visiting our website, tcenow.com, and sending me an email. I'd love to hear from you.